The Subcommittee on Joint Capital Outlay will come to order. Would the clerk please take attendance? Chair Price. Here. Representative Steckloff. Present. Brixie. Here. O'Neill. Puri. Wilson. Here. Alexander. Here. Slaw. Steele. Senators McDonald Rivet. Irwin. McGann. McMorrow. Here. Camilleri. Santana. Here. DeMoose. Here. Bumstead. Here. Heisen. Here. Wonderful. Thank you all for being here today. I'm going to save my comments on the process for the end. Um, Representative Seckloff moves to adopt the minutes from the May 10th meeting without objection, so ordered. The minutes are adopted. I also I want to note uh, to our community committee members that before we discuss the recommendations, we do need to adopt substitute H1 in order to discuss the legislation. This is a procedural vote to bring the bill forward, not a final vote of recommendation. Representative Steckloff moves to adopt substitute H1 to HB 4282. Would the clerk please call the roll? On the motion to adopt the H1 substitute, Chair Price. Yes. Representative Steckloff? Yes. Brixie? Yes. O'Neill? Yes. Curry? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Alexander? Yes. Slaw? Yes. Steele? Senators McDonald Rivet? Yes. Irwin? Yes. McCann? Yes. McMorrow? Yes. Camilleri? Yes. Santana? Yes. DeMoose? Yes. Bumstead? Yes. Heisinger? Yes. By an interview of 17 yeas, zero nays, zero pass, the H1 is adopted. Thank you. We will now hear from Perry Zielik from House Fiscal Agency, who will speak to the substitute. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, as the Chair said, my name is Perry Zielak uh, from House Fiscal. Um, I will be reading from the House Fiscal Agency summary document of House Bill 4282, the Joint Subcommittee Chair's recommendation on capital outlay projects. The bill in front of you has $1,200 of general fund, general purpose dollars, which represents 12 university and community college planning authorizations. The total cost of the projects recommended to move forward within the bill is $372.5 million. This contains a state share of $195.0 million and an institutional share of $177.4 million. Uh, typically, the annual rent rates are somewhere between 7% and 9% of the total state share per year. Um, with that total share of $195 million, you would be looking at an annual debt service payment for these recommended projects of $14.6 million GFGP over 15 to 17 years. And then to pr actually proceed with state fina financing, uh, the projects recommended to move forward would have two years from the end of the fiscal year uh, that the uh, recommendations are approved um, to receive construction authorization. Uh, in front of you, you have a list of the 12 projects, the six university and six community college projects. I won't go through all of them, uh, but I will point out item number one concerning Eastern Michigan University's engineering and technology complex. Uh, that has the highest overall uh, cost for a university of $42.5 million. You do have four projects that are at the $30 million state share cap in terms of the university projects. And then I'd like to point out item number seven concerning Delta Colleges, information technology and computer science K-Wing renovation that has the lowest community college total cost of a $5.7 million project, along with the lowest community college state share at $3.3 million. Item number 11 concerning Oakland Community College's skilled trades and industrial technology building has the highest overall community college cost and community college state share of a total project cost of $115.0 million and a uh, state share of $25.0 million. And with that, Madam Chair, I'd be happy to address any questions committee members may have. Thank you very much. Um, first question out will be for me. Uh, the $14 million a year that you referred to, are we talking about the rent rate or the interest rate? And could you please clarify the difference for our committee members? 
Sure. So the $14.6 million I mentioned earlier, um, that is the annual debt payment. Um, seven to nine percent, so that is different from the interest rate. So this is, uh, we, the state would essentially be paying approximately seven to nine percent of the total project spread out over 15 to 17 years. That would be different than the interest rate. Uh, I don't have a crystal ball, so I can't predict um, what that interest rate would be. Um, the current projections from the State Building Authority, or SBA, uh, they projected a 3.75% interest rate for 23. Of course, that may change. Uh, also, that interest rate may change when these projects are actually ready to be bonded. Uh, but yes, the 7.9% is essentially how much we'd be paying off of the project, not referring to the interest rates for the projects. Thank you. Other questions from committee members? Okay. Thank you very much. All right, um, now we're ready for any amendments. Are there any amendments? Yes, there are amendments. Um, would Senator McDonald Rivet like to speak to their amendment? Thank you very much, Madam Chair. Uh, I'm offering an amendment to fund the project at the Grand Rapids Community College that serves a critical uh, group of students on the west side of the state. Thank you. Um, Senator McDonald Rivet moves the amendment. Would the clerk please call the roll? On the motion to amend, Chair Price? Yes. Representative Steckoff? Yes. Brixie? Yes. O'Neill? Yes. Curry? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Alexander? No. Slaw? No. Steele? Mm -hmm. Senators McDonald Rivet? Yes. Irwin? Yes. McCann? Yes. McMorrow? Yes. Camilleri? Yes. Santana? Yes. DeMoose? Yes. Bumstead? Yes. Heisinger? Yes. Madam Chair, you have 15 yeas, two nays, no pass. The amendment is adopted. Thank you. There are further amendments. Would Representative Heisinga like to speak to their amendment on uh, number one uh, related to Grand Rapids Community College? Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, this amendment puts a $100 placeholder in the budget for the Grand Valley State University's Blue Dot Lab project. This project would have a transformational impact on Grand, Rap Grand Valley's campus and would greatly enhance the educational experience for GVSU Sorry, students. Sorry, um, Senator Heising, uh, could you please speak to the amendment related to Grand Rapids Community College? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was, uh, I need to withdraw that amendment. Oh, withdrawing that amendment. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And there are more amendments. Re or Senator Heisinger, would you please speak to your amendment related to Grand Valley State University? That's the correct one. Yes. So Thank this you. amendment puts a $100 placeholder in the budget for Grand Valley State University's Blue Dot project. It would have a transformational impact on the Grand Valley campus, enhancing educational experiences for GVSU students, <coughs> and furthermore uh, reflects the chair's recommendations for additional uh, institutions that are outside the area that are uh, predominantly in there uh, in the western lower peninsula. In order to properly geographically balance these projects, I look for uh, support for my amendment. And Senator Heisinga moves the amendment. Will the clerk please call the roll? On the motion to amend, Chair Price? No. Representative Steckloff? Pass. Brixie? No. O'Neill? No. Purry? No. Wilson? No. Alexander? Yes. Slaw? Yes. Steele? Senators McDonald Rivet? No. Irwin? No. McCann? Yes. Tomorrow? No. Camilleri? No. Santana? No. DeMoose? Yes. Olmstead? Yes. Heisinger? Yes. Madam Chair, you have 68, 10, and two passes. The amendment is not adopted. Thank you. There are further amendments. Would Senator DeMoose uh, please speak on your amendment related to Monroe Community College? Yes, thank you, Madam Chair. This amendment is being offered to add in the Monroe Community College Wealth 
health, health, health education building to our capital outlay budget. We have a desperate shortage of nurses throughout Michigan, which is exactly what this project addresses. And it's a time sensitive request. The nursing program's accreditation is at risk this year because the outdated and cramped teaching facilities are expected to be cited by accreditors in this year's accreditation visit. So this is something we really need to address in a critical industry we, where we just need more, more nurses. Thank you. Thank you. And Senator DeMoose moves um, mo motions to move the amendment. Will the clerk please call the roll? On the motion to amend, Chair Price? No. Representative Steckloff? Yes. Brixie? No. O'Neill? No. Curry? No. Wilson? No. Alexander? Yes. Slaw? Yes. Steele? Senators McDonald Rivet? No. Irwin? No. McCann? Yes. McMorrow? No. Camilleri? Uh, pass. Santana? Yeah. DeMoose? Yes. Bonstead? Yes. Heisinga? Yes. Madam Chair, you have five yeas, eight nays, four passes. The amendment is not adopted. Okay, and there are further amendments. Senator DeMoose, would you please speak to your amendment on Michigan Tech Technological University? Michigan Tech University is absolutely on a roll, and as they testified before this committee, unlike so many of our other great institutions, their enrollment is actually increasing. And they are increasing in fields of study that our state desperately needs, STEM programs that will help all of us in this mission that we're on together to bring new industry and high-tech manufacturing to Michigan. This amendment adds in their marquee project, the Center for Convergence and Innovation, that will build upon this momentum that Michigan Tech is gaining and help them serve an expanded student base who's studying com computation and business. Excellent. Uh, Senator DeMoose moves the amendment. Will the clerk please call the roll? On the motion to amend, Chair Price? No. Representative Stegall? Yes. Brixie? No. O'Neill? No. Curry? No. Wilson? No. Alexander? Yes. Slaw? Yes. Steele? Senators McDonald Rivet? No. Irwin? No. McCann? Yes. McMorrow? No. Camilleri? No. Santana? DeMoose? Yes. Bumstead? Yes. Heisinger? Yes. Madam Chair, you have five yeas, ten nays, two passes. The amendment is not adopted. There are more amendments. Um, would Rep. Alexander um, please speak to your amendment related to Mount, Mount Colm Community College? Yes, thank you, Madam Chair, for allowing me to speak to my amendment. This amendment, this placeholder, would eventually appropriate $2.93 million uh, to the, from the state to the Mount Calm Community College's North Building renovations uh, to provide opportunities and construction will include HVAC system and electrical pro programming. This project will cost a total of $5.874 I move the motion and I would appreciate support. Thank you. Thank you. Rep. Alexander moves the amendment. Will the clerk please call the roll? On the motion to amend, Chair Price? No. Representative Steckloff? Yes. Yeah. Briggsy? No. O'Neill? No. Curry? No. Wilson? No. Alexander? Yes. Slaw? Yeah. Steele? Senators McDonald Rivet? No. Irwin? No. McCann? Yes. McMorrow? No. Camilleri? No. Santana? No. DeMoose? Bumstead? Yes. Heisinga? Yes. Madam Chair, you have five yeas, ten nays, two passes. The amendment is not adopted. Thank you. Um, continuing with amendments, would Senator Bumstead please speak to your amendment related to Central Michigan University? Central Michigan. It's the two pager. And Ferris State and oh, what's the um, yeah, two page, four pages, two pages, actually four, four pages. Four, four pages. Yes. <laughs> Would you like to speak to that I'll amendment, just read this. Senator said. No, I'll do them separate. Thank you, Madam Chair, uh, Madam Price, for allowing me to speak to my amendment. My amendment before the committee today would add projects from additional regions that were left out of the ch uh, chair's recommendations. 
in House Bill 4282. Adding these projects would allow for the committees and the legislature to consider projects from around the, all the state and not just those mainly located in Southeast Michigan. Committee members, I ask for your support on this amendment. Thank you. Senator Bumstead moves the amendment. Will the clerk please call the roll? On the motion to amend, Chair Price? No. Representative Steckloff? No. Brixie? No. O'Neill? Yes. You said yes. Curry? No. Wilson? No. Alexander? Yes. Slaw? Yes. Steele? McDonald Rivet? No. Irwin? No. McCann? Yes. McMorrow? No. Camilleri? No. Santana? No. Yes. Bonson? Yes. Isaac? Yes. The committee will come back to order. The clerk will continue. Yeah. And the clerk will continue the roll. Representative O'Neill? No. Madam Chair, you have six yeas, ten nays, one pass. Sorry, five yeas, ten nays, one pass. The amendment is not adopted. Thank you. Continuing with amendments, would Senator Bumstead please speak to your amendment related to Ferris State University? Would you please speak to your amendment regarding Ferris State University? Yes. Thank you, Chairwoman, for this opportunity to speak to my amendment. Members, my amendment before you would add Ferris State University's project for the Center for Interprofessional Health Science Education to House Bill 4282, allowing for its planning authorization. Colleagues, I ask for your support on this amendment. Thank you very much. Oh, uh, Senator Bumstead moves the amendment. Will the clerk please call the roll? On the motion to amend, Chair Price? No. Representative Steckhoff? No. Gracie? No. O'Neill? No. Curry? No. Wilson? No. Alexander? Yes. Slaw? Yes. Steele? Senators McDonald Rivet? No. Irwin? No. McCann? Yes. McMorrow? No. Camilleri? No. Santana? No. DeMoose? Yes. Thank you. Continuing with amendments, uh, would Senator Bumstead please speak to your amendment regarding uh, Department of State Police? Thank you, Chairwoman, for letting me speak to my amendment. Last year, the Michigan State Police put in a project request before the committee for a new training facility. However, it was not granted. This amendment will add this project to the list of projects already included in House Bill 4282. Committee, committee members, I'd like to ask for your support on this amendment. Thank you. Senator Bumstead moves the amendment. Will the clerk please call the roll? On the motion to amend, Chair Price? Pass. Representative Steckoff? No. Brixie? No. O'Neill? Yes. Curry? No. Wilson? No. Alexander? Yes. Slaw? Yes. Steele? Senators McDonald Rivet? Yes. Irwin? Yes. McCann? Yes. McMorrow? No. Camilleri? Yes. Santana? No. Yeah. DeMoose? Yes. Bumstead? Yes. Heisinga? Yes. Madam Chair, you have five yeas, seven nays, five passes. The amendment is not adopted. 
Thank you. Continuing with amendments, would Rep. Slob please uh, speak to your amendment regarding Michigan Technological University. I would, thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I really appreciate the efforts that you are doing to try and move some of these projects forward. We definitely need to, to come on that. And I think it, it will generate not only immediate work, but it, immediate, it helps us to think about long-term construction costs, other kinds of things that would enable to benefit our communities. Um, and I really appreciate the SBO putting together recommendations on stuff. Um, one of my, my concerns and questions or continued uh, efforts is to try and figure out how can we best get folks out into our workplace, getting them employed, getting them the technological training that they need. Um, and so with that, um, I'd, I would like to, uh, using those thought processes, I'd really like us to um, take the scoring, which puts um, Michigan Tech at uh, number three and uh, Wayne State um, as really just classroom kind of stuff, and which is a number nine rating, and just take Wayne State off, add Michigan Tech into that, uh, and I'd move that motion. Okay. So Representative Slaw moves the amendment. Will the clerk please call the roll? On the motion to amend, Chair Price? No. Representative Steckoff? No. Brixie? No. O'Neill? No. Hurry? No. Wilson? No. Alexander? Yes. Slaw? Yeah. Steele? Senators McDonald Rivet? No. Irwin? McCann? Yes. McMorrow? No. Camilleri? No. Santana? No. DeMoose? No. Bumstead? No. Heisenberg? No. Madam Chair, you have two yeas, 14 nays, one pass. The amendment is not adopted. Are there any further amendments? Okay. There are no further amendments. Hearing no further amendments, Senator McDonald Rivet moves to recommend House Bill 4282 as substitute H1 as amended as a new substitute. Will the clerk please call the roll? On the motion to recommend, Chair Price? Yes. Representative Steckoff? Yes. Brixie? Yes. O'Neill? Yes. Curry? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Alexander? No. Slaw? Yeah. Steele? Senators McDonald Rivet? Yes. Irwin? Yes. McCann? Yes. Thank you very much. And again, I'm very grateful everybody is here today and has participated so actively in our joint capital outlay process this year. I said at our very first committee hearing that I wanted to make the joint capital outlay subcommittee process meaningful again. And together, over the past few months, I think we have done that. In a shortened time frame of only six weeks, we have openly and publicly heard testimonies from as many colleges and universities as we could from all across the state. And while the scopes of each project were unique, every community college and university collectively demonstrated one common theme, that for far too long, the state has ignored the infrastructure needs of our higher institutions of learning. These 13 projects that we are recommending will go a long way toward reinvesting in the future of our state. They will positively impact tens of thousands of students as well as the surrounding communities and our state as a whole. They will help attract and retain talent, create jobs, make Michigan more competitive and more attractive to business, invest in STEM, help the state of Michigan be at the forefront of emerging technologies in artificial intelligence, microchips, and combating climate change. These projects will invest in underserved populations and minority students across the state, many of whom are the first in their family to go to college. And I have been asked, why are we doing this now? Well, the truth is that the infrastructure needs are immediate and the continued cost of deferring these projects, the price of that inaction is too great. According to the State Building Authority, the price of steel has increased by 30 to 40%, and concrete alone over the past few years has increased by 15%. 
while the cost to borrow during that same period has hovered between 2.5 and 4%. The $200 million roughly that we recommend spending today will leverage over 180 million in local shares of funding across six community colleges, no, seven community colleges and six universities. And our recommendation is still far below our remaining bond cap of, or our current bond cap of $812 million. This is not only a great investment in our state, but it is being done fiscally responsibly within the confines of the entire state budget for years to come, which is how these recommendations should be viewed as an important component of one larger higher education budget that is beginning to reinvest in our people, our workforce, and our students. Thank you very much to everyone on the committee um, and reps and senators outside of the committee who have reached out to my office and provided very valuable and copious input on all of these recommendations. This has very much been a collaborative effort. We understand that every project has merit and unfortunately not every project could be recommended at this time. But this is not the ending. This is the beginning of the joint capital outlay process. And we ask that even if your project did not get recommended today, that you will continue making the case to your elected officials why these process and the joint capital outlay process is so important. Again, the goal this term was to reinvigorate, to make the process meaningful so we can continue to use it to invest in higher ed institutions in the future. Those are all of my remarks. Um, are there any remarks or questions from any other members of the committee at this time? Okay. Then, with no other business, um, I'd like, oh, we need to excuse, thank you. I'd like to ask the clerk to take the vote to excuse any absent members. A Just a motion. Uh, I make a motion to excuse absent members. Without objection, so ordered. Thank you. I don't know why I don't have that on my sheet today. <laughs> I apologize. Okay. With absences excused, with no other business, um, Senator Irwin, okay, move to excuse it. Oh, I do. I'm just following off script. Okay. There being no further business, the subcommittee will stand adjourned. Thank you all.